Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. Recently on my channel, you might have seen a series of benchmark comparisons between the Ryzen 7950X and the X3T variant. I had also initially planned to include one for Metro Exodus PC enhanced version as well, but I ran into an extreme stuttering on the X3T variant. While the 7950X ran the game smoothly, the X3T performance was far from ideal. As you can see right here, there is stuttering already in the main menu. Also to note, I also made sure that all the drivers, BIOS, and game bar for the xbox were up to date yet it doesn't seem to do much but i am excited to share that i have found the solution to completely eliminate the stuttering issue on the 7950x 3d especially in this game and in today's video i'll guide you through the steps i took to achieve a smooth gaming experience so without further ado let's dive right in in this scene you can see that i'm in the game already and the graph clearly displayed drastic fps dips making it evident that the issue is quite severe not only is the video stuttering but also the sound whenever the camera and the character move rendering the game unplayable so let's explore how to tackle this problem. Thanks to many people in the community, I came upon an amazing software called Process Lasso, which not only optimize and manage CPU usage, but also prioritize applications and ultimately enhance your system performance. Let me guide you through the installation process. Search for Process Lasso online and download it from their official website. The good news is it's free. Once installed and running, navigate to Options and then Tools. Click on CPU Core Parking, which will prompt you to install Park Control, which is another fantastic tool that optimizes CPU Core Parking and Frequency Scaling to improve performance. Now that you have got both Process Lasso and Park Control installed, let's tweak some settings. Open Park Control and change the power profile to Ultimate Performance. Don't forget to click the Make Active button. You should now see the current system power status change to Ultimate Performance. Next, head over to Process Lasso and find Metro Exodus in this case in the list of processes or the games that you are trying to fix. Right click on the game or in my case Metro Exodus and select CPU Priority then set it to High. Also, ensure that the CPU affinity is set to utilize all available cores and I'll show you why. Heading back into Metro Exodus, you will immediately notice a significant improvement as the graph start to stabilize. The stuttering has completely vanished and we have achieved a smooth gaming experience with this simple workaround. Check out this footage of Metro Exodus running at max settings with a flawless gameplay on the Ryzen 5950X 3D. Don't close the video just yet, stick around as I'll be revealing more discoveries.
We'll get you out. Whoa, it's a drone. A drone? A drone? What the hell? Now, returning to power control, you will notice that selecting ultimate performance has created a new power plan in Windows, which replaced the default one. This change helps optimize your system for an enhanced gaming experience. Additionally, I'd like to point out that in Riser Master, I have a precision boost over drive activated, along with a negative 30 sitting on all cores in the curve optimizer. If you are interested in overclocking your CPU to further maximize performance, be sure to check out my other video linked above, where I provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to overclock your your CPU and truly unleash this beast. Let's explore how Core Affinity affects Metro Exodus performance. In the process lasso, right click to CPU Affinity and click on Select CPU Affinity. A window will open displaying all available cores. Here you can control which cores are used to run the game. I have tried setting the Affinity to use only cores with a 3DV cache, but upon returning to the game, the stuttering issue re emerged. When I inverted the selection to use only the known 3DV cache cores, the performance deteriorated even further, with the game running at just 1 FPS, as you can see here. So, based on those experiments, it seems that the optimal choice is to keep the affinity set to all cores. While it's interesting to test different configurations, in this case, it's best not to adjust the core affinity settings. Now that we have reverted the core's affinity back to all cores, you will see that Metro Exodus is once again running smoothly as before. Now, to ensure that the process lasso and part control automatically start and apply your preferred settings every time you boot up Windows, follow those steps. In the process lasso, go to CPU priority and this time choose always. Then set it to high so it remembers to prioritize Metro Exodus each time you play. In part control, navigate to settings and ensure the start at login option is toggled on. Also, back to process lasso, go to options and click on configure setup. Make sure that start at login for all users and start core engine as a service at system boot options are checked. In. Click next and then finish. You will be prompted to restart the software to apply those changes. Click yes. Now both process lasso and part control will automatically apply your settings every time you start ensuring an optimized gaming experience. Now finally, let's take a look at the comparison between the game performance before and after we have done those changes. This side by side will clearly illustrate the massive improvement we have achieved together and you can check it out for yourself and enjoy playing Metro Exodus on your 7950X 3D like never before. So guys that was it for this video, I really hope that you found it useful, if you did please consider subscribing to my channel to support me in creating more content like this one. Also I have very exciting news, Tikasaur now has its own discord server, you can find it in the link in the description below and also in the about section. Feel free to join, ask for tech support, discuss various topics and even make video requests. Let's grow our community together guys. So I really want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.